guys. Welcome. Okay, Caitlin's gone. <laughs> And she's laughing at me! Did you put the hoodie away? Ah, why did you just take the head in? No! No! Kaylin? Oh, yeah? It looks like you just gave birth to a mannequin head. I wanna... I wanna... Welcome back to my channel. So in this week's video, we're gonna do some hoodie life hacks because it is fall now, so it's time for all of us to hide everything we ever are ashamed of regarding our body in giant hoodies. <laughs> I just like to curl up as a ball and read. Or curl up as a ball and read. So first hack we have is if you get an oversized male hoodie, you spray it with cologne and you wear men's deodorant, then it seems like you have a boyfriend. So the guy you like will seem more attracted to you and want to date you because they'll be like, oh, she's taken, I can't. Or if you're just lonely, you can also do that and just pretend you have a boyfriend. Or if you're a guy, you can do it with like a girl's sweatshirt and put like perfume. What if you're girls gay? In. Well, what form of gay? I don't know. You can do it if, with your significant other. Yes, you can do it with your significant other if you feel lonely or if you want to possibly get one. Here's our first hack of the day. Second hack is you can then use your arm as a planner. So you can just write all the stuff you have to do. And since you're wearing a hoodie, you can hide it and no one has to know that you're super disorganized and are great with procrastination because you can never get anything done. Third life hack you can do is you can hold everything you need in one of these, not for like all your life, but you know, you're going to school, you're like, oh, I don't want to bring a backpack around. Just zip up your hoodie, and if it's an oversized one, it's really big, you just put all your binders in there, hold them all like to your chest, and then you don't need to carry anything around, right? Or if you're Caitlyn, this is a beautiful hack for if you're Caitlyn, wear the hoodie backwards. So that's the first step, is figure out how to get a hoodie off and put it on backwards. You take your book or your tablet or whatever it is, put it in the hood, cinched and zip you can read without actually having to hold it now the same hack you can be applied yes with food if you don't want to hold your food just put it in the hood and then if it's like a bowl and not a box of cheese it's not sponsored um you literally just like shove your face in it and then you get food it's easy as that you can bring your hedgehog or a small pet into a Walmart or Target or any store that doesn't usually allow animals by keeping them in your sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. Right in the front pocket. You just stick your hands in there so they don't see the lump. You can do the same thing with food at a movie theater. Again, just like zip it up, hands in it, holding it up, and then you're just holding all your food. And then when you're in the theater, you can flip it around and hold it in the hood. So then you don't even have to hold it in your lap or in your hands wherever you're gonna put it. This is another sort of like lonely type hack thing. Have your best friend wear the hoodie and then you guys post a picture of a hug but they have the hoodie up. So then it looks like they have a boyfriend. Or if they're gay, do it with a girl's hoodie. Or if they're a guy who's straight, do it with a girl's hoodie. Or if they're a guy who's gay, do it with a guy's hoodie. Do it with whatever hoodie that person is attracted to. And boom. You were just helpful. If you're going to sleepover, you know there's a 50-50 chance that your friend forgets that it gets cold and you need heat, which is why you have 8 million blankets. Bring two hoodies, put one over you like this, and then put one in your legs like as pants. But since it's a hoodie, it'll be softer and warmer and it'll feel like you're using a blanket. That nice outfit. If you wear that, then you don't even need to worry about getting a blanket at sleepovers. Or anywhere. And you look super cool and you're super comfortable. Well, can I do the one with the arms? If you want. Mm -hmm. Another good hack is if you want to look like a weird alien or something, like you came from Area 51, you can do what Caitlyn is going to do. I have a creature living next to me right now. As Caitlyn is showing, you can creep out your friends and their families. Ah by putting your arms and legs in the armholes of the same hoodie. Oh, we can't see your face. <laughs> <laughs> I 
If that's not the thumbnail, I don't know what is. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is not the first time she has done this at my house. The last one was at your mom's. Oh. It's still in my presence. <laughs> one more life hack you can do with the hoodie is then you don't need to buy t-shirts because you can just wear hoodies from like the first week it gets below 70 to the last week it gets below 70 of the year. And we live up here in Rhode Island, so that's pretty much from right now, which is the beginning of September, to May. And if you're a girl, you can save on bras because you can still wear a t-shirt underneath, but hoodies, no one's gonna see it, so you don't even need to wear or buy a bra, and then it's more comfortable. Another beautiful life hack by the Caitlin Selly for with your hoodie. If you don't like someone and you know they're going to be somewhere you're going to be, wear a hoodie, put a mannequin head over it. Then you're a completely new person. Give a thumbs up. Thumbs up. That's not... Th <laughs> there you go. That is all we have for you guys this week. So if you like it, please like the video and subscribe to see more from me and all my friends. Turn on my post notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. If you want, you can go follow all my other social media platforms. They'll be listed in just a second at the end of this video. And hope you guys like it. Bye! I'm petting a cat. That's more important. Use your other hand. Bye! Seriously, you look like you're gonna kill me. And Caitlin's reading again. It's been like a year. Yeah, I'm really lazy. It's the whole sense of like, if someone else has it, then everyone else wants it more. And Caitlin's gonna eat all the cheeses before we get to that bit. So, third life hack you can do. It's a bit. Yes! <laughs> I'm hungry. Are you gonna put the pants on? Oh, and now she's decapitated.